I'm a, <laughs> this shoe was confusing, it was baffling, it was strange, it was amazing. Good morning, good afternoon, or good night, depending on where you're watching from around the world. Thanks for tuning in. Cheers, everybody. Oh man, by the way, everyone in the United States, happy Thanksgiving one day after. <laughs> Hope you had a great Thanksgiving. Here we go, breaking down running shoes, my favorite running shoes of 2021. Yay! Unbelievable, uh, these are three. I'll just mention them right now. The Asics GT, so we're not done. It's November, we got a month of running to go, but this is the GT2000. This is the uh, Eternity from Puma and the Zoom Fly 4 from Nike. I'll be testing these out in the next month. But so far, so good. We've had a great year, everyone. Uh, I think I'm at about 37, I don't even know, 3,700 miles on the year for running. So it's been a solid year. Isn't it interesting, the relationship, the relationship, the affinity maybe you form with your running shoes. You go through a lot with your running shoes, especially if you take them past 500 miles, 700 miles. I don't know about you, but I find it hard to let go of a running shoe uh, once you know that you know the midsole is done. Anyway, that's just a little a little tidbit for today. All right, as we dive in, all the full reviews for these shoes are linked below in the description, also on the site, as you well know. Um, and of course, they're available from Running Warehouse. I believe there's some pretty solid deals going on right now, just so you're aware. All of these shoes, I would buy again, all right? But, little tip of the day, bookmark this vlog and set an alert, copy the link, all right, to this vlog, set an alert right now. Uh, I use Google Calendar, whatever calendar app you use for April 26th, 2022 and go back to this vlog go to the links down below and see if these shoes are on sale okay in six months from now i believe many of the as the next iterations start to be released in early 2022 many of these shoes will go on sale and guess what they are amazing shoes just because the new iteration comes out for example i'll just say I'm a little nervous about the new Mach uh, coming out from Hoka. What is the name of it? There it is on your screen. I love the Mach 4. So I'm a little, I'd say, how do you beat the Mach 4 in my opinion? I'm nervous to see what Hoka does for the next iteration. Speaking of the Mach 4, oh man, there is my full, uh, and again, I can't go into all the details of the shoes I'm about to mention. The, again, the, that's what the full reviews are for. Mach 4, it just works so well with my foot strike. Uh, where to even begin? I think the upper, I, yeah, the upper was my favorite. It just laid on top of the foot. The lockdown was so amazing. Part of it connected to this heel counter, the heel flare there in the back, unbelievable. Um, uh, and the ride was just smooth. So the Mach 4 and a good weight, actually, I should turn this scale on right now. Mach 4 there again is my full review score. Uh, definitely a top three running shoe for me in 2021, okay? 7.6 ounces for a trainer. And I guess I should mention, how would I use this shoe? Um, tempo, daily trainer. Ugh, gosh, would I do a threshold? Probably not. I mean, it's so, okay, and the midsole is tame in the sense that the stack height is not crazy high. I mean, if you had to take it onto the track for some simple interval workouts, not all out, but some simple interval workouts, I would even feel comfortable taking the Mach 4. Onto the track. Okay, moving on. Top three running shoes of 2021. You know what it is. Crazy. Actually, you don't know what it is. Um, I thought I was going to mention number three. It's actually number two. The Max Road 5. Again, back to the heel counter. Let's just confirm uh, real quick here. Uh, 7.9 in my size for the Max Road 5. I remember the trampoline effect coming in through the pods on the outsole. I believe that was the highlight of the shoe for me, a long run shoe for me, and I love the Max Road 5. Again, the upper, just perfect. Was it semi-gusseted? No, it wasn't even semi-gusseted, but the tongue Skechers, you nailed it. It laid on top of my foot perfectly. All right, Skechers Max Road 5, there you go. That is number two, and again, the full review score. And last but not least, of course, the Nova Blast 2. Oh man, they fixed the heel counter. Is the Nova Blast 1 out here? I don't think it is out here, in here. Um, the Nova Blast 1, I had issues with the heel counter. I had blisters. Not the case in the Nova Blast 2. 
Thank you, ASICs, if you uh, watched my Nova Blast 1 full review and you uh, took it into consideration. They fixed it. I don't know how they fixed it exactly, but they fixed it. No issues there. And then again, back to the bounce of the midsole. Um, it, it enhanced. Oh, yeah, that's uh, outsole. They enhanced the decoupled groove. What I believe brings upon uh, a greater trampoline effect through the foot strike. Um, if you did not like the Nova Blast 2, let me know in the comments. I don't believe I've seen anyone that the Nova Blast 2 didn't work for, okay? So Nova Blast 2, there's my full review score. I believe all three of these made it into the 8s. Yes, 8.7 for the Mach 4, 8.18 for the Max Road 5, and we're looking at 8.0. So, and you know my scoring system. If it goes above an 8, it's just mwah, perfect, perfect. But I do have to make two very quick, I couldn't resist, two honorable mentions Hooray! from 2021. Favorite running. I just could, I couldn't resist. DGR, okay. The Zoom X. Oh, I'm, a, <laughs> this shoe was confusing. It was baffling it was strange it was amazing oh that bounce through the zoom x oh i i i was devastated when i got to 50 miles in this shoe meaning i had to stop running in it uh now the score was not a, quite as high as the others partially because of the price point and the weight actually let's just remind ourselves really quick and i know i gotta keep moving here um there's one other let's see let's see um yeah see 9.1 I think Nike is going to drop that by a half an ounce in 2022 is my prediction. I'm hoping and amazing. ZoomX, and again, link down below for that full review. Where is the Rebel V2 from New Balance? Amazing. Solid score. Um, there it is on your screen. Another honorable mention, but not in my top three quite from 2021. Okay, so Mach 4, Max Road 5. Nova Blast 2. Okay, really quick. Here we go. Stability shoe, the Vongo V5 from New Balance or the Saucony Hurricane 23. Okay, I'm not a stability guy. I'm a neutral guy. Uh, but if I had to choose one, I think I would, I would, I would go Vongo V5 from New Balance. Sound good? Uh -huh. I know a lot of, you know, uh, raise your hand. Are you a stability runner? What has been your top three stability running shoes from 2021 if you care to share down below in the comments and moving on to the trail section oh man what a year for the trail shoe lineup all right let's just dive in oh i w obviously i wish i could say like the ev evo speed goat um two but it's i don't know what they're planning for 2022 for the speed goat lineup but i'm very intrigued it's not a 2021 shoe therefore it's the same with the tribuco max but it is for 2021 the ultra glide from solomon okay looking at a believe it's like almost broken to the eights love this shoe uh not not too heavy it's you know it's not on the lighter scale it's not actually let's take this here you know nine ounces on the nose so solid weight for a trail shoe and upper lockdown brilliant and solomon i think is is definitely listening more and more to the durometer yearning from people around run, trail runners around the world just give us a little forgiveness through that midsole they did it. They did it. There it is. Solomon Ultra Glide. Thank you. Thank you, Solomon. Okay. A6 Fuji Light 2. Shocker. I didn't expect this at all. Wasn't on my radar. Amazing outs. Actually, now that I... It's a tie, I would say, between the outsole and the midsole as to why this shoe made it into my top three trail shoes of 2021. And it's an aggressive commuter shoe, but I would 100% use this shoe for training in the snow in the wintertime. I really would. That outsole grip. Um, I used the Tribuco Max last winter and that outs for winter training, and that outsole is actually more aggressive than the Fuji Light 2, okay? You see that lug pattern there on both of those? So, very, I'm actually, who knows? I might pick up a second pair for if we get, if we ever get snow in Denver, we still don't have snow here, uh, the, for the Fuji Light 2 for winter training 2021, transitioning into 2022. And yes, it is linked down below in the description, okay? And then last but not least, oh, actually out of all of these, my biggest shocker for a shoe that actually did well for me, 
And again, beholden to no one. I'm not afraid to test any running shoe out there on the marketplace. Um, it's, it's the Brooks Caldera 5. What? Kind of heavy, but this is now, this is the shoe I fell in that I was running up in the mountains and I tripped and I caught it on camera on the drone. I'll try and link to that vlog down below in case you didn't see it. But the Brooks Caldera 5, just a solid daily trainer. It's kind of a clump. It's all, you know, maybe a little, a little big on my, on my foot, but man, it treated me well. The Brooks Caldera 5, there it is. Soak it in, shocked. And again, there is the full review score right there on your screen. So running shoes 2021, my favorites. Um, I should have looked up how many shoes I actually tested. I don't even know. It's been a lot. They're not all here. Some of them are in my garage, but it's the Hoka Mach 4, the Skechers Max Road 5, A6 Nova Blast 2, Honorable Mentions, the Nike Zoom X Invincible Run, Flyknit, and then of course the uh, New Balance Rebel V2, and then Solomon Ultra Glide, A6 Fuji Light 2, Brooks Caldera 5. Now, wherever you're picking up your running shoes moving forward, just make sure they have a good return policy, okay? Uh, these shoes worked amazing for my foot strike. I realize not all shoes, I'm just gonna give a little shout out. What, oh man, this is bold. What company is going to make steps in 2022? Is it gonna be Mizuno? Okay, can't a little shout out to the Wave Rebellion. Definitely not a top three shoe for me in 2021, but I'm hoping just like, um, ooh, I would say, I'm just gonna say ASICS over the past three years, I think has made huge strides. I think Mizuno is next. And this shoe, the Wave Rebellion, is, uh, is a little sign that I think Mizuno might be on their way up. Anyway, we'll see what happens in 2022. So, Hope that helped. There you go, everyone. Comment of the day, question of the day. Shout out to Pablo Marani. Thank you. And this is being pulled from my top three running shoes from the first quarter of 2021. Okay, so here we go. Uh, Pablo says, favorite shoes of 2021 thus far. Endorphin speed. They have a perfect combination of speed and comfort, which makes them so versatile. Like, there, there you go. The speed two did not make my top three. Very interesting. Um, it was not bad. Not, not, it was great, but just didn't quite do it for me compared to these other shoes behind me. Okay, I bought them based on your recommendation, so I have to say thank you. You are welcome. Currently, I'm excited looking for a pair of Hoka's like the Mach 4, your recommendation also. I live in Argentina, so my comments here are a perfect proof that DGR really is a global community. I enjoy so much of your videos. Thank you, Pablo. Uh, they are a great source of inspiration, entertainment, and recommendations. Thank you again, Seth, for your work, Pablo. Thank you for watching from Argentina. Hopefully the, uh, you know, maybe you're fluent in English or hopefully the captions from YouTube are, you know, working well. I know that they're trying to get better with those closed captions, but I appreciate you checking out um, what we've got going here into Studio 1.5. Okay, you know the question of the day. What are your top three running shoes from 2021? There it is. Top three running shoes from 2021. Onward and upward. Thanks for tuning in. We will toss it to, who? I think we'll do last year's favorite running shoes. Okay, Ugh, I, I, I gotta go find it, but it's somewhere right here. All right, right, I believe it's right there. Right there, right there, right there. All right, keep turning that doorknob, testing those running shoes. All right, see beauty, work hard, and love each other. See you tomorrow.